Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In a previous video, we looked at the Flash application and how to show and hide buttons based on page selection using Java. In that application, we would come to a form, press a button, and then one of the other forms on this list would become disabled based on what we selected. Obviously, if you're on the Flash form, you don't want to necessarily have that visible again because you're already on it. And today what we're going to do is, is look at how to do it in expression language. I have my form here, and as you recall, there's a dynamic region. Each one of these buttons is hooked up so that when you press the table button, the table shows. The form presses the, opens the form, the flashcard opens the flashcard, and so on. In the previous example, we actually had Java beans, a Java bean back here so that when we pressed it, it would set based on what was selected at the time, or what was active at the time. So uh, this time, however, if we take a look at the property inspector, and we go over, oh, I'll just type disabled, that's the easiest way to find it. You can see now that my page flow scope has the value, if the active form equals table, over here on the lower right, then disable it. Very simple. Again, here we have form. Here we have flashcard. And here we have control panel. In those buttons, when we go to the structure window here, you can see that each one of them has a property listener. And if you look at this, the from value is table. It's got a number sign with a bra uh, squiggly bracket table in single quotes, and then a sing and then a, another bracket. And then we set this to the active form. Now, as you recall, what we do is we just go in here, and um, there's nothing in here. We just put in whatever we want, really. When you're setting this, you can call it anything. So we could call it um, any name. Sorry, any name. And that would work. Okay, I'm going to just cancel out of that because obviously we want to keep that. But that's how you set it. So you have the from value, what the value is. And this could be a, a free text like this, or it could be a value on the form uh, accessing the, the current row or something like that. Department ID, for example. And then if we go over to the form, you can see that it's exactly the same except for this, exactly the same except for this, and exactly the same except for this. So it's uh, pretty easy to do. So when you press table, this disabled automatically sets based on the value of the active form value. And if it equals table, then disable it. So if we go to our form, you can see that it automatically populates with the table being set to disable. Up here, you can actually see the value. Now, how did I get that value? Well, in this case, I did actually use advantage bean because I wanted to have the table automatically set. So if we go to the flash app bean, you can see that I have when the bean instantiates, it sets this method, it runs this method. So this method is set back to page var. It selects a map, which is requires this utility, the Java import. And we set a string to S and we put the active form value. And we get the active page flow scope here. And we put the active form in. And then we have the second one that we're putting the active form to in. So that automatically populates when you go to the form. Now when I press this, this becomes form. And that becomes, as you can see, all of my values are setting. And that's exactly how you do it. Next, we're going to be looking at how to run a few things. Because what we really need to do is... Um, well, we're going to put some buttons on here that will um, 
go from the table, I should say, and put it from here. When we press edit, there's some things that go on that we need to deal with in the form. So when we're done editing, we don't want to see, or we want to see this when we're on the table and we go from the table to the form. But when we're on the form, we don't want to see this because you know where do we go back to where where we are this is the start for the form there's no so this is have this has to do with the fact that we have a page flow let me open that up just a second okay here you can see that when we press edit it sets the current row with key value and then it goes to the form so that's what happening is happening when we're on the table and we pre press edit here. And we do want to see this because we want to go back. But if we're on the form, there's no reason to see this. So what we need to do is, is to have the parameter go into the dynamic reading or dynamic region and then have this respond to the parameter value, much like we do have on these buttons. So we'll take a look at that later. I hope this was helpful and have a good evening.